Hello everyone, welcome back to Sailor School. In this video, we will be gaining knowledge on bulk carrier ships. Please make sure to watch videos that I made on Roro ships and timber carriers. The link is in the description below. Watch it and comment about it so that I can improve my video presentation skills. Do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Sailor School where I'll be making educational videos on various topics related to operations done on various types of ship and I will be happy to make videos on any topic that you are struggling to understand. The main topics that will be discussed in this video include types of bulk carrier ship and comparison between geared and gearless bulk carrier ships. First let us understand what do you mean by a bulk carrier. Bulk carrier are ships that are designed and built to carry unpackaged bulk cargo such as grain, natural resources like iron ore, coal, manganese, fertilizers or any other bulk cargo in its cargo holds. Bulk carriers which have cranes fitted in them for cargo operation are known as geared bulk carrier and which do not have cranes are known as gearless bulk carrier. What do you feel about which type of ship has more advantage in the shipping industry, geared or gearless? Now let us discuss about some factors that will convince you on which type of ship that has more advantage in the shipping industry. Geared bulk carrier Less cargo is carried due to increased deadweight. Increased deadweight means the presence of crane increases the weight of the ship. This affects the maximum cargo carrying capacity of a ship. Maintenance of crane or derrick is an additional task on geared ships. The main advantage is that services can be provided to terminals and ports which do not have cranes for cargo operation. These ships are built smaller in size due to stability factors. Now let us talk about gearless ships. Gearless bulk carrier More cargo can be loaded on gearless bulk carrier as cranes are not fitted. So this reduces the deadweight of the ship drastically. No additional maintenance is required for cranes. The only main disadvantage is that services cannot be provided to terminals or ports which do not have cranes for cargo operation. But in recent times, almost all ports of the world have a proper loading discharging facility available. So this factor does not affect the trading done on a gearless ship. Gearless ships are very large in size when compared to geared ships. Ok, let's come to the conclusion. Geared ships have some disadvantages when compared with a gearless ship. Like extra maintenance of cranes should be done at regular intervals and less cargo carrying capacity. These are the images of geared ships and gearless ships. It is just for your reference. Bulk carriers are segregated into 5 major categories depending on their variations in sizes. Small bulk carrier The deadweight of these vessels ranges from 10,000 to 25,000 metric ton and they have less than 5 holes. Handy Mac ships Handy Mac ships have 40,000 to 60,000 metric tons deadweight and are fitted with 5 cargo holes and 4 cranes. A gearless version of Handy Mac's bulkers are also available. Panamax carriers. They are specially built ships that can transit in Panama Canal. They have 7 holes and their deadweight varies between 60,000 to 1 lakh metric ton. They have maximum breadth of 32 decimal 2 meters in order to pass through Panama Canal. As you all know recently, the breadth of navigable waters in Panama Canal was increased from 32 meters to 52 meters, which led to the birth of Neo Panamax bulk carriers. Neo Panamax bulk carriers can pass through the new log gates of the Panama Canal, and the deadweight of these ships varies from 80,000 metric ton to 1 lakh 20,000 metric ton. They are built with 9 cargo holds. Cape size bulk carriers. These ships have deadweight tonnage starting from 1 lakh metric ton to 2 lakh metric tons. 
these ships are built with nine cargo holds they are completely gearless with no cranes or derricks fitted and they completely rely on shore facilities for loading and discharging of cargo of course we have not discussed about kamzer max newcastle max malacca max and dunkirk max and a few other variations in bulk carriers in this video you can refer to wikipedia or any other websites from google for more information on them thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel the next video i will be uploading will be on imsbc code that is required on bulk carriers for carrying solid bulk cargo i'll be explaining about the contents of imsbc followed by the definitions that are stated in the imsbc 